We perform urine cytology if your pet has any abnormalities associated with urination, such as blood in the urine, straining to urinate, increased frequency of urination, incontinence, or urination in strange places, like outside of the litter tray or on bedding. To perform urine cytology, urine must first be spun down at high speed in a special piece of equipment called a centrifuge. The urine is spun down so the solid components of the urine are able to be collected. This process can take between three and six minutes and the sample will be spun down at different speeds depending on the results that are required. We prepare two slides with a drop of the spun down sample. One of the slides will have a smaller cover slip on top and this slide will be used to look for urinary crystals. The other slide will not have a cover but instead will then be dried out with the use of a hairdryer to speed up the process. We then apply certain stains to the sediment and look at this under the microscope. The main things we look for in a stained urine slide are bacteria, which could indicate a urinary tract infection, inflammatory cells, blood and abnormal bladder cells, which could indicate bladder cancer. Once the slide has been stained, it is once again dried. The slide is now ready for examination under the microscope. During this examination, the vet will analyse the cells under the microscope to see if there are any abnormalities. A veterinarian is required to perform this test as it requires interpretation at a microscopic level. Based on the results of this test, we will discuss with you any further testing required or treatment options for your pet. We check the urine specific gravity or USG if a pet is drinking or urinating an excessive amount or if there are any signs of abnormal urination. Measuring the USG helps us determine how well your pet's kidneys are working. To run the test, a drop of urine is placed onto a special diagnostic instrument called a refractometer. We then look through an eyepiece to get the result, which is a numerical value. The specific gravity of urine that has not been concentrated or diluted is between 1.008 and 1.012. If the USG is too high, it can mean that not enough water is being eliminated through the urine. If the USG is too low, it can mean the body is losing too much water through the urine. If the USG is abnormal, it may tell us that your pet may be suffering from one of these medical conditions, adrenal gland disease, kidney disease, diabetes, dehydration, and thyroid disease in cats. Unlike most tests, the results of this particular test are not simply normal or abnormal. Instead, the result of a USG has to be interpreted in light of other clinical, historical or blood test findings to determine what is normal for the individual patient. Additional tests may include blood tests, further testing of the urine, x-rays and ultrasound. It is therefore imperative that this test be interpreted by a qualified veterinarian to determine if additional testing is required. Examining urine can be extremely valuable when searching for health problems in pets. We perform a dipstick if your pet has any abnormalities associated with urination, such as blood in the urine, straining to urinate, increased frequency of urination, incontinence or urination in strange places, like outside of the litter tray or on bedding. A dipstick is performed by collecting a small amount of urine and placing it onto a test strip. These colour-coded strips change colour when exposed to urine. After a specified time, the test strip is interpreted by a veterinarian based on the colour change of each square. The important readings include urine pH, urine protein, urine glucose, urine ketones, urine red blood cells and urine haemoglobin and bilirubin. 
These results can assist in pointing us in the direction of certain diagnoses, such as diabetes, urinary tract infection, stress cystitis, and kidney disease. The interpretation of the test is a crucial part and must be done by a qualified veterinarian.